Welcome to Universe Live. I'm Trevor Myers. And I'm Lynette McConkey. It's Monday, April 3rd, 2023. A winter storm warning throughout Utah is in effect until Wednesday at midnight. Utah Valley is expected to get up to a foot of snow. Salt Lake County could receive more than 18 inches, and the mountains will see several feet. The 193rd General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ took place this weekend. True disciples of Jesus Christ are peacemakers. President Nelson encouraged members of the church to be civil and kind. He also announced 15 new temples and a brand new young women's presidency. For more information, visit universe.byu.edu. The verdict is in. Gwyneth Paltrow is not liable for a 2016 ski collision. What percent of the fault do you assign to Terry Sanderson? 100%. The judge ordered Sanderson to pay Paltrow $1 and all attorney fees. The criminal trial against Lori Vallow-Daybell begins today. She's accused in the 2019 murders of her children, Tylee and JJ. Jury selection is expected to take place today. Wasatch County Search and Rescue was busy with three rescues this weekend. Rescuers responded to two separate snowmobile accidents that required choppers on Saturday. A team also responded to an incident with ice climbers on Sunday. BYU football held their annual live spring scrimmage and alumni game on Friday afternoon. And while the young guys shined for the current team, it was the seasoned veterans who brought home the second straight win for Team Navy in the alumni game. In the scrimmage, the BYU defense held like the Great Wall of China and forced seven punts and two turnovers for the offense. Of course, fans wanted to get a glimpse of the new Cougar quarterback, Keaton Slovis, as he finished 6 for 13 for 50 yards and one interception in five possessions. The team will finish up spring practices on April 14th. In the alumni game that followed, the defense stood tall once again, but the former greats were sure to have their fun and grab some touchdowns along the way. Detmer back to pass. Got a man wide open. Wide. Touchdown for Die. The two quarterback legends, John Beck and Ty Detmer, had stellar stats in their return to Lavelle Edwards Stadium as Beck ended the night with 235 yards and three touchdowns, while Detmer finished with 187 yards and one touchdown. Former defensive back Spencer White intercepted the former Heisman winner twice to seal the 26-20 victory for Team Navy. In the Smithfield House over the weekend, the 7th-ranked Cougars took on 11th-ranked USC and defeated them in four sets in back-to-back -back nights. On Thursday, opposite hitter Cupono Brown was throwing it down like Beyonce as he notched a career-high 22 kills that saw BYU extend the Trojans' losing streak to five straight matches. The Cougars also forced 20 attack errors by the opponent to win easily going into their next game. On Friday, senior setter Heath Hughes tied his season high of 49 assists to lead BYU to another easy dub. The home team outhit the visitors with a 4-4 clip to keep the undefeated streak at Smithfield House alive. BYU finished their home play with a struggling Stanford Cardinal this weekend, and just like Thanos, an undefeated season at home may just be inevitable. Thanks for joining us today for Universe Live. Have a great day.